Hi, I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. I'm going through colonies now to pick out the colonies that need a bit of boosting and taking over to another yard to boost them up. So we're gonna have a look inside a few hives now, just to check, I've got a good Some resources here, plenty of honey. Plenty of honey, good layer of pollen, pollen and honey. A key question. Beautiful. That, and they're starting to emerge now. Great little brood nest. Full of capped brood. And emerging. brood. Plenty of brood larvae too. This one is in great shape. So that's in good enough shape that really I don't need to do anything with it, but I may boost it as one of my weaker colonies or smaller colonies just to get it going faster. So that's a great one. Let's see what this looks like. Roughly the same size. 
a little smaller. sources. Only about two to three frames of bee, so from the top you can see it actually is quite a bit smaller than it looked from the top. Pollen, honey, just not enough bees to get it to take off very quickly. <laughs> A nice little brood nest going on there. Here's a queen right here, a marked one. Yes, nice compact little brood nest. Nothing wrong with what she's doing here. These bees are emerging, so the population is starting to recover here. And more cap brood here. So this one's coming along. That's a frame and a half of brood. And resources there. So there's about three frames of bees, frame and a half of brood. See the queen. So colony is okay, it just needs more bees. This is ideal for what I have in mind. So this is definitely one I will transfer. This one's more like the first. Not really touching the pollen patties much at the moment because they've had good stores of pollen in here. Also, it's not a particularly huge brood chamber. Lots of honey in here, lots. You can already see the brood chambers in good shape here.
nice little brood there. Another frame of brood in there. This colony is in great shape. One full frame of brood. Two full frames of brood and another th third frame of brood there as well. So I'm going to leave this at the moment. I'll look for less strong hives, but this could be transferred. But I'll look for ones that will benefit more, first of all. Ones like that one are perfect. This is going to do fine as it is. But I may yet transfer it. So these colonies have come along. This was had two frames of brood when I looked at it two weeks ago. There's more bees in here, and there's a third full frame of brood here. So these are coming along nicely, but uh, are not in urgent need of a bit of help. Let's have a look for another smaller one. Three to four, that's gonna probably be fine. Two to three, that's probably fine. One to two. This one was struggling. So I'll have a look at that one. frames of bees. I can see lots of honey. Certainly no shortage of food in here. Honey. So these small brood chambers will still grow, just they need the shorter bees. They're storing pollen here, so that looks good. It's just not enough bees to keep enough area to grow a brood chamber quickly. There's a number of reasons why you could have lost bees over the winter. Again, we've got a small group of bees. They've stored an enormous amount of pollen for the number of bees and a really tight little brood chamber here, which is perfect. So there's nothing wrong with that queen. It's just that she doesn't have a big enough supporting cast. If it was a patchy distribution of brood drones in there, I'd be concerned that it's a failing queen. But if it's not a failing queen, look at this. Look at all that brood they've done for this number of bees. There's hardly enough bees to keep that brood covered. Yet it's a, virtually a full frame of bees. Full frame of brood. That's beautiful. This queen just needs a bigger supporting cast to keep her going. There's two, two and a half frame, two frames of brood in there. Because there's more brood on this frame as well. This another perfect colony for boosting. Certainly doesn't 
need any food in there. So that's what we're looking for. Colonies that have a good queen, a nice compact brood chamber, but just need some more bees to expand that brood chamber. And that, we'll see some very dramatic results with these. So we're taking this one too. So we've got so we've got six hives in the back of the truck and they're going to be put on top of some of these hives here. And at the moment you can see the difference in strength of these in this yard. The more the size of the colonies. We have a, an emergence of uh, bees. So we're going a lot of orientation flights going on here at the moment, but uh, also lots of pollen coming in. So in this yard, I've got a number of colonies which have a deep super on the top and a shallow or medium super underneath. About a week ago, we reversed the brood chambers. So the bottom one is full of brood and the top one now should be pretty full of brood. So it's not as if it's been expanded with a deep already. And so we've got a number of colonies in this yard which are at that stage, which are pretty full of bees and could do with more space. That means they're in danger of becoming too crowded and so these are going to be the ideal candidates to take the bees um, that were just brought here today. So I'm going to think we'll start with this one right here. So we're not going to go down deep into these hives, we're going to have a quick look.
full of these here. And what we're going to do is get the smoke out. This is called the newspaper method, but today we might just call it the paper towel method because it's exactly the same thing, only we're going to use paper towel instead of newspaper. So we're going to put a thin layer of paper here. So this colony remains just as it is for now, a thin layer of paper which is easily eaten, chewed up by the bees, and we're going to put our, our small colony on top. colony here and a very small colony up here. These bees will eat their way through the paper. These ones are eating their way through down through the paper, creating small holes within a few hours. And by tomorrow there'll be good passageways there. And surplus nurse bees are going to come up here and help fill out this brood chamber area. And we're going to have frame of brood upstairs to probably within a week we'll have three frames of brood up there within two weeks we'll probably have four or five frames of brood up there so we'll watch it for the, the coming days and we'll do that with more of these colonies let's look at this one
pay wind. and ready for the next one. Last week, we saw that this colony was occupying about four or five frames of bees up here. And there was still space to occupy over here. So, a quick look, we should see eggs in here by now or food being stored. These frames on the outside there may have been honey being stored here, but let's see what we're finding. Certainly full of bees. Fresh nectar. And space being cleared out. Nectar, a little bit of brood. Just starting. Got eggs in there developing, some food being stored in here. So the brood chamber is moving over to this side, which was didn't even have bees on it before. Full of young larvae in here now. All shiny with uh, royal jelly. So this colony is growing very nicely. Occupying all of the frames we've got here.
single layer of paper is all you need. Just basically a time release mechanism. So each hive is a, an entrance of its own for now. Bottom hive has this entrance, top hive has this entrance. And they're going to act like one big hive, only with two queens. One above the queen excluder, one below the queen excluder. And very quickly, this, this, so this hive within days is going to have the population it needs for that queen to reach its full potential. Right now, the queen down here is slightly limited by space, and this queen is limited by numbers of bees. And so between them, they'll share the space and the number of bees. Both of them will reach their full potential in terms of egg laying for the next couple of weeks. Looking for the colonies that look the strongest. Good. Have room for another box. Looks like both of these are candidates.
still expanding into the space it's got. So you just like putting on another box of empty space. We don't want to overdo it too early, otherwise we'll just set the whole colony back. Likewise, this one's not that full of bees yet, so it's just expanding into it nicely. We'll leave that one alone. Be ready. Maybe we'll see what else we've got.
a look at this one. six hives sharing their strength. Let's have a look at a couple of the colonies that we found needed an extra super. So for a start, let's look at this big one. Just see if we overdid it a bit. We went to three deep supers on this one. So let's just check. Let's see, check to see if the bees have moved up from these two brood chambers into the third one. only six days ago we added a third brood chamber to this hive that looks promising so this box is empty and as predicted these six frames are full of bees Hopefully the queen is laying in a number of them. So let's look. Take a frame of foundation out. So remember we put foundation, foundation, honey, empty comb, empty comb, empty comb, empty comb, honey, foundation, foundation. The foundation is to give them room to use up some of these built up energy that they've got in there. As if repairing the comb and uh, feeding all that brood wasn't enough. They've already started to build new comb here. That's great. The 
this frame that was mostly honey is honey and pollen. Nectar coming in. Bees have cleaned it all up. There's a fair amount of nectar in here, a bit of pollen. Don't see any eggs in this one. Plenty of nectar, plenty of pollen, polished cells. cells in the repairing comb here. Plenty of nectar. I'm just starting to see some eggs up here too. Just starting to see eggs in the center there. So the queen is starting to make progress in here. You see how the space is sort of relatively free of bees? That's a sign of eggs being laid usually. And we do have eggs being laid. So the queen is moving up and she'll probably be working up here most of the next week. And we're back into nectar, pollen, etc., and new comb. So they're making use of this space. Certainly absolutely full of bees. One more. This was new added last week. are occupying the majority of this space here. Not quite the population that the mega hive had over there. And they're just starting to work the well, well I stand corrected they're building comb here already. The honey frame.
full of larvae already. This queen got in here right away, and all of these are about six day old larvae. She was laying the day we left. This will be capped brood in two more days. Problem when your phone is in your bee suit is you can't answer it. I apologize. Look at all this brood. busy in here right away. Five day old, six day old larvae down right down to eggs. They've really filled up these frames with larvae. And eggs here. We got four frames of brood developing right here. Isn't that good? That's after only six days. This is a hive that would have swarmed had I not got another box on here. I ever love these Saskatchewan bees. They are great. They've come through the winter in flying colors and now really getting ready to be in a position to split. So there we have it. We boosted six hives and uh, confirmed the uh, expansion of the others where we gave them extra room last week. This is, uh, it's going very well. Next I'm gonna do is get over to those nukes and we'll install some nukes into some other yards tomorrow. I hope you're finding this helpful. We're uh, gonna be doing more and more proper bee management now that spring is really roaring along. And uh, if you like it, please press, press subscribe and uh, share it with your friends and let me know if there's other things you'd like me to cover in some of these videos. I'm Peter Cowan, The Bee Whisperer. See you next time.